uh, for our assignment we choose hydro power plant in Malaysia which is under introduction of local Malaysia electrical power system uh, for my friends Abdul Muiz Shazah B. Ismail Muhammad Shami bin Samson and Muhammad Hazim bin Abu Qasim ok for the introduction this hydro power energy is one of the most suitable and efficient source of renewable energy uh, regarding today eh. so we in this uh, hydro power energy we, we need to have dam reservoir run off, run off river and pump storage another classified according to power scale is large mini small micro and pico hydropower this regarding to the place uh, for the river then categories and performance of hydropower system and the most suitable turbine which can be used also this regarding about the river also which are uh, high the large river consume high run of high run of water so we need a uh, bigger turbine so means it can it can produce higher and large uh, supply nowadays most of the rural areas in developed and developing countries use the hydropower plant for producing electricity because it is cheap and effective okay these are the the place of the hydropower energy hydropower plant in Malaysia uh, we have Perak Terengganu Kelantan Pahang Sarawak and Sabah so the highest uh, <coughs> highest supply of of hydropower plant in this Malaysia in this country which is Sarawak in Bakundam, we supply 2,400 megawatt. <coughs> now we move to the objective. So the first one is to utilizing optimal energy in the water with minimum submergence and economic cost. And next is to optimize hydropower as a renewable resource that does not contribute to greenhouse gases. Then to provide power services at lowest sustainable cost and lastly to create clean source of energy in Malaysia. Okay. For the working system. Okay, so now I will explain about the working principle for the hydro electric power plant. So uh firstly, uh, a typical hydro power plant is a system with three parts. Firstly, the dam can be open or closed to control the flow of the water uh, for example uh, on the river then uh, a receiver where the water can be stored so we can use the power of the water flow to generate generate the electricity then uh, the water behind the dam flow through an intake and push against blade to spin the turbine the turbine will uh, be connect uh, to the shaft uh, through the generator and the generator will convert the power uh, mechanical power to the electricity the amount of electricity that can be generated and convert uh, depends on how far the water drop and how much the water move to the hydro electric hydro electric system the electricity can be transport uh, through long distance electric lines to home factories and also business and also this is the uh, figure for the hydro power plant system which is we have intake uh, in this intake we have we need to have reservoir uh, then we have a control gate to control the water flow and then pen stop where the water flow 
through it which will go directly to the turbine and make it rotate to generate electricity then after that uh, the water flow to the outflow and go to the river for the system uh, which generator uh, we have a transformer uh, which is in powerhouse to <coughs> make the electricity that we generate earlier higher to be transferred to the power line power line or cable and be supplied to the house and industry so lastly the conclusion the first one is uh, as we know hydropower use water it will reduce pollution as it is a clean fuel source of energy and next hydropower also a flexible source of electricity since the amount produced by the station can be changed up or down very quickly to adapt to changing energy demands it is also a domestic source of energy allowing each state to produce their own energy without being reliant on international fuel sources and last but not least hydropower helps malaysia meet its present and future energy needs so it all it's all from us thank you